Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting. All right, folks, please no comments about how stupid my hair looks. I haven't had a haircut in a while and neither have you. So shut up, you're the hostile way to start the video. I'm sorry. You guys ready to get deep? Huh? I don't think you are. I don't think you're prepared for how deep we're gonna go today, okay? Even James Cameron and his little tiny submarine would go, wow, dude, this is deep. And whenever I see like a photo or something that is meant to be taken seriously or and then it has like a deep message and stuff, I the, my first reaction is to just make jokes about it because I use comedy as a defense mechanism so I don't have to confront my own issues and, and worries head on. But you know, I can appreciate when people try to make content that has like a deep message you know, like perfect example would be the movie Parasite. That movie perfectly depicted poverty and problems with class struggle. It did it in a very beautiful, clever way, okay? But there's a lot of content, mostly on the internet, that is known as fake deep. Kind of speaks for itself. It's content that, that's trying to be deep, but it just falls way short. And just a little over a year ago, I made a video about fake deep content. Um, and it's actually like one of my my best videos I've ever made. Well, just in terms of views, I, I, don't, I don't know. That's subjective, I guess. So according to my watch that I'm not wearing, it's sequel time. So this is Fake Deep 2, Going Deeper. Just realized how gross of a name that is. So let's, let's not call it that. Let's just call it Two. You invade this pristine world, claiming it as your own simply by your presence. You slaughter innocent animals for their hides and their flesh. You devastate the landscape and gouge out the earth to build your monuments to vanity. And yet you call me the monster. Damn, that's pretty deep. Let's see who said this really meaningful quote. Creeper. Oh man. I really hope this is like a parody or just like someone trying to be funny. Because if it's not, wow. Whoever made this, they probably fucking use their turn signals when they play GTA, dude. And you can't even do that in the game. That's not even a thing you can do. The controller grew a new button because they're like, fuck, this person is so lame. They need this. They're fucking pushing my buttons. It's just so funny to think like a, like a Minecraft like activist, like whenever they play the game, they're just, they don't build anything. They just organize like huge protests. We will not stand for this injustice any longer. We must rename Minecraft to Ourscraft. Fuck nudes, send me photographs of your aura. Oh fuck, <clears throat> look bae, I said I wanted photographs of your aura, okay? All those clothes you're wearing, making it hard for me to see which color you are radiating. So why don't you just take those off and send me another photo? Cause I can't see your aura nah. fits. Okay dude, uh, this, <laughs> this next photo, no joke, might be the funniest photo I've ever seen in my whole life. She was a poem, but he couldn't read. Poor Steve Harrington doesn't even know what this meme says. Even if he wanted to read this, he couldn't. Oh. She was a poem, but he was a fucking dumbass. When I see stuff like this, it's like, it's it's so good that it's like, there's no way that they're not joking, right? Cause I just can't believe that in, at any point from coming up with the idea to making it on Photoshop and, and at no point they were just like, oh wait, hold on, hold on a second. This is the funniest photo I've ever seen in my entire life. At no point did they say that? This format is great though, it's very versatile. She was a soccer ball, but he was the goalie. She was a peanut, but he was allergic to peanuts. She gave him the divorce papers, but he couldn't read. Okay, so you guys understand what fake deep is now after we look at a few photos. I think you get the idea. But I think now it's time we address the elephant in the room. Something huge happened in the world of fake deep since my last video. And that is of course the movie Joker. I really enjoyed that movie. I, th I thought it was really well done. But with the release of that film came a lot of weird, fake deep inspirational photos featuring the Joker. But while I was looking for these fake deep inspirational Joker pics, I stumbled across <laughs> A very weird side of YouTube that's dedicated to these Joker quotes that obviously aren't actual quotes from the Joker because obviously the Joker never said, bro, texting to lots of girls will make you a stud, not a billionaire. I don't remember that in any Batman movie, but there's a whole community on YouTube that unironically makes video montages of fake inspirational Joker quotes set to trap music. I am not joking. This is a real thing that's going on. Let's watch this one. It's called 17 Breakup Motivation Jokers Quotes, Inspirational Quotes to Help You Through a Breakup.
guys, I know we're going through a worldwide pandemic right now, but this is the worst thing that's going on currently in 2020. Dude, I'm losing my mind picturing someone who just got dumped out of like a 10 year relationship or something and the first thing he does is go to youtube and types in joker quotes help break up okay good okay there's a video for that okay good thank god <laughs> there's just a joker quote video for for any situation 17 joker quotes to help you come to terms with the untimely death of your hamster and obviously the funniest thing about these joker quote videos it's the, the fact that the Joker has never said any of these things, and he never will. They're just putting pictures of the Joker behind weird, super generic, inspirational quotes that anybody could come up with. But after I watched way too many of these, it got me thinking, what would it be like if the Joker actually said these things? So to answer my question, I went on Fiverr, and I hired an aspiring voice actor to say some of these quotes as Heath Ledger's Joker. So, here's that. You gotta be a beast. That's the only way they'll respect you. If you knock me down, you better kill me. Because when I woke up, you're so fucking dead. Every problem comes with some sort of solution. If it doesn't have any solution, it's a girl. Me? Chasing you? Bitch! Read it backwards. 80% of boys have girlfriends, rest of 20% have brains. No exaggeration, that is the best money I've ever spent. <laughs> okay, let's look at some more. She believed that this is freedom, but she did not know that she has lost her security things. A silent message for modern females. I like that they put silent message for modern females, uh, because sometimes I'll look at a photo and I'll just be like, ah! Too loud, turn it down! But I've been saying this for a while, dude. Listen up, modern females. You're always crawling out of your skeleton and leaving your skeleton upside down and sad all alone. And you're on the ground like a like a weird little pile of skin and organs. Stop losing your security things. Also, aren't turtles like... Uh, turtles can't come out of their shell, right? That's like part of their body? So I, I don't know what animal that is. <laughs> that just stole a turtle's shell and is standing on top of it. Hold up. Okay, next one. When you turn 13, you learned a new emotion. Sadness. Yep, nobody under the age of 13 has ever been sad. That is impossible. If you see a frowning, crying baby, you shove that baby and you go, Hey, stop lying to me, okay? You ain't 13 yet, bitch. When I was seven years old and I found out that my great-grandfather died, I wasn't crying because I was sad that I lost a man that I looked up to and loved a lot. Nuh-uh. I was crying because I couldn't read. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. You can be sad when, when you're a kid. If my great-grandfather is watching this video from heaven, I'm sorry, I love you. And when you died, it made me sad. <laughs> Weird way to bring the video down. It's fine. Well, it's not, okay, let's move on. Before Corona, watch TV. During Corona, watch TV. After Corona, watch TV. Bro, I should have put on fucking water wings before I looked at this photo, cause I think I'm in the deep end, dude. This, if you don't get it, you need like, you gotta be really smart to get this photo. I know, so some of you might not. I get it because I'm smart, but so here's, there's what it is. We're all just fucking sheeple with our eyes glued to the, the, the boob tube, okay? Stop watching TV, all right? Read book. TV bad, book good. We've been over this. Even though this is the one time that it's actually more than okay to stay at home and watch TV all day. You're still a dumbass. I know this is about coronavirus, but it, be very funny if this was actually about the beer. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into the deep tweet section, and these are always good. I heard someone say, marry a man who runs to God when you have problems, not to other women. I felt it. Okay, so they're saying it's bad whenever someone is in a relationship and whenever there's a problem, they run to a different woman. And that that's true, that's bad, you shouldn't do that. But what you should do instead is run to God and sleep with him, I guess? Come, my child. That's the answer, okay? Whenever you got a problem, you go to a church, it is any church, and you, you get down on your knees, all right? And you wet your whistle and you suck. Come to God's will. 
by sucking his dick. Dude, don't be deep on Twitter, you know? That's like putting a comic strip in the obituaries part of the newspaper. Hey, like, hey man, you're in the wrong section, bro. I guess that's like the beauty of Twitter though, right? You could see like a really like deep, meaningful tweet and you go like, wow, that was, I felt that, wow. And then like you scroll down for like one second and it's a tweet from like lizard fuck 420 that says, I really haven't wiped my booty hole in weeks. That's the beauty of Twitter, dude. All right, here's another deep tweet that really pissed me off. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. Read that again. Okay. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. Read that again. Okay. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. The right person will make you fall in love with yourself too. The right person will make you Hey, it's me, Kurt. Those tweets really bug me. I've seen so many tweets that end with, read that again. Hey. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, straight up, fuck you, man. No. I read the tweet. That's it. Hey, read that again. What? Read that again. Read what? This tweet I just read? Read that again. Read what again? Read that again. I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know, no, don't cry. I'm talking about my book. That again. Oh. I can't read though. Yeah, me neither. Okay, I feel like if we're gonna talk about fake deep content, we gotta talk about the king. Noah Centineo. There was, of course, that really deep, profound speech that he had at the People's Choice Awards. And before I go, I just wanna say, it matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done. For others. In his defense, I think award show speeches are inherently awkward, but you really only have to say, eh, hey, thanks, see ya. I don't really know what he was trying to say here, right? It matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done for others. So let's let's dissect this, okay? Let's figure it out what he means with, with an example. It matters not what you've done, okay? So say you just gave 20 bucks to a homeless guy. That doesn't fucking matter, dude. That doesn't, that doesn't mean shit. Okay, it matters what you do with that homeless man for others. This is what Noah Centineo is saying. Do not give money to a homeless man unless you are prepared to open a small antique shop with that homeless man and provide antiques to the local neighborhood. That is the translation of Noah Centineo's speech. And I'd have to disagree. <laughs> Noah is really the epitome of fake deep. Like, I don't really know what goes on in his head, but uh, let's read one of his recent Instagram captions. The immaculate attention you give to surfaces under those rocks that most of us just skip across the likes of our viewers' minds without a thought other than how many can I get. That's why I would love you, whoever you are, whenever you are. Bro, I swear he has just a hat full of different words that he could possibly use for a caption. And he eats the, wor the little pieces of paper one by one. He waits a while, shits them out, looks in the toilet bowl, and whatever words are, are in the poop, he's like, oh, yep, that's my caption. Because that is no joke, literally the shittiest <laughs> caption I've ever read. And I'm not alone here. The comments on this are ruthless. What? I think he's trying to communicate. Maybe if we put him in rice. Hey man, they hated Jesus, so. Who, who am I to say? You're gonna show me how you squirt or what? Yes, I am Squirtus. All right, we'll finish this off with a couple videos that I found on TikTok. I don't even know what to say to introduce them, so let's just watch them. Help. Help, why no one can hear me? I, I could feel something down there. Wow. Okay, so the moral of this, the le the takeaway, it, no, no one cares about you unless you turn into a shiny little rock. Then people will pay attention to you because they feel something down. How did he feel that? Uh? Oh, this account just does these videos, that's it, and they're all bonkers to say the least. Help, help. Come up. I find a way to save you. I can feed the crocodile with the elephant's nose. Ah! I'm really sorry that I'm subjecting you guys to this because now you, you're only going to be thinking about these for the rest of time. But I guess the lesson here is uh, never chop an elephant's nose off because an elephant never forgets. And also you'll fall into a pit and die. Thank you. Wait, antlers. Give me your antlers. Oh! <laughs> Wait, skateboard. Give me your skateboard. <laughs> like where on earth does this take place, right? Where an animal is just like, don't worry, I'm a bridge first and a gazelle second. Here you go. That's why bridges like collapse sometimes, right? Cause, cause they ain't gazelles, bro. That's what we need. The famous 
Golden Gate Gazelle. The gazelle to Terabithia. <laughs> I guess these are actually like literally really deep because every single video features someone falling down into a deep uh, bottomless pit. So they took it pretty literally and I respect that. Okay, I think that's all we'll look at today. I think I learned too much. I'm too smart now, so I gotta go lay down. While I do that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Raycon. Do you like listening to music, podcasts, audiobooks for hours and hours? Of course you do. There's nothing else to do nowadays. And if you're listening to stuff for a long time, you wanna make sure whatever's in your ear is comfortable. And that's where Raycon comes in. Raycon is a longtime friend of the channel, um, but if you've never heard of them, listen up. And if you have heard of them, uh, still listen up, please. Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. It also comes in new fun colors, and unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet, with no dangling wires or stems. Other wireless earbuds I've tried were always running out of battery super quick, and I was always worrying if I had to charge them or something. It was annoying. But Raycon's compact carrying case can charge the earbuds four times on a single charge. And just because they're high quality doesn't mean you gotta break the bank, too. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market and they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. And don't just take my word for it, celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Cardi B are obsessed with Raycons. Can you blame them? No. Raycons are great for working from home, working out, and listening to music and podcasts for hours without driving your housemates crazy. And this sounds pretty snazzy, right? Well, it gets even snazzier, believe it or not. Raycon has hooked up the great citizens of Kurdistan with a great deal. All you gotta do is click the link in my description for 15% off your order. But yeah, again, 50% off your order. Check out the description. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. I hope you check them out. And that's it. See ya. Nice. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. That was fun, man. I forgot how funny those fucking photos were. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please press that like button because believe it or not, one like, equals one gazelle bridge that I will build with my bare hands. Ah. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, if you want me to do a part three in another year, I guess. And yeah, press the subscribe button because once you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Kurdistan. If you didn't know, Kurdistan is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me. It's the law. Uh, yeah, check the description for the other stuff I do. You can check my Instagram, my Twitter. I got a weekly podcast. I got merch down there, my Twitch. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I have to go though. I gotta go open up my small antique shop. So see ya.